Hello, I'm Cade Bork, the president here at LogoJet. At LogoJet, we're constantly trying to find ways to help our customers with their printer applications and printing business. And one of the things we've recently done is developed a golf ball return on investment calculator that you can see here in this spreadsheet. I'll go through the details of it. Um, so you can see we have the printer model, our four printer models that we currently offer at LogoJet, the tray uh, and job capacity per dozen that's available as a maximum amount that can fit on each printer, the print time in minutes for each of these uh, dozens for each model, the ball print area, which is the maximum amount of the image on the, the ball without losing quality, the total ink cost per job, the material cost per job, which is the cost of the golf balls for each one of these jobs. It's based upon an average estimate that we've seen historically. The labor cost per job, which is the hourly rate for the employee for that number of minutes for the job, all combined to the total job cost, for reference, is the total cost per each dozen. Then the revenue per job is based, once again, off of an average we've seen historically the golf ball selling for. And that leads us to the gross profit per job. The next table shows the return per month. So it's taking the first table and putting it in a per month total cost We've conservatively estimated 20 jobs per month. And as you can see here, it's a very small conservative number of hours per month that the printer would be actually operating. This then leads to the gross profit per month for each model. Afterwards, we have some additional cost, which is the maintenance cost per month. As you can see here below for this note, this is a maximum estimate based upon LogoJet suggested consumable and parts replacement as well as repairs. So that's why we consider it just to be a maximum estimate. Could definitely be lower than this, but we want it to be conservative in this ROI at calculator. Then the printer cost per month is at the actual payments in financing the printer. Uh, the note here, as you can see, is this is representing a four-year financing at 3.99. It would be a lower amount per month if it was a five-year. That leads us to the total printer cost per month for each model. And then the total return per month. And if we take that total return per month and estimate that that would go back into the cost of the printer, we get an estimated payback time in months. So ranging from nine months for the Terra because of the sheer volume and speed of the Terra to 26 months for the 40R Plus SE. We think once again, uh, this does not take into account any additional print jobs. This is just considering these conservative estimates of 20 jobs per month per printer. So we think this is a, a very useful ROI calculator. Um, please contact us if you'd like more information about this ROI, ROI calculator, or if you have any other return on investment calculations that we can help you with to determine um, the business side of your printer. Thank you.